So, um, welcome uh, to our guests physically present and those remotely to the inaugural Risk Five London Meetup. Um, this is the first time we've run an event like that. This as part of the uh, Risk Five Meetup program worldwide, but it is in fact our fifth meeting on the subject of Risk Five. We held our first one in 2014, and indeed one of the speakers at that first meeting is going to be speaking today. Um, I'm Jeremy Bennett. I'm chair of the British Computer Society Open Source Specialist Group. So welcome to all of you who haven't been to one of our meetings before. And if you're wondering why the BCS is holding its meeting in our fellow organizations building the IET, the reason is the BCS London HQ, after 15 years, is moving from the Strand out to Moorgate. And after we'd arranged this meeting, they realized that the entire contents, including all the AV, is in boxes. Um, so we've got this room here. So thank you to the IET for hosting us. Um, we have a good working close relationship with them. So that's very positive. Let me just tell you a bit, if you're new to us, about the BCS and the IET and, and, and the Open Source Specialist Group. So the BCS has just celebrated 60 years. Um, it was founded by Morris, Il Morris Wilkes, who you, some of you will recognize there. And so we're sticking to a strong tradition of interest in computer design. He, of course, was the man behind EDSAC. Um, and it's there to promote the study and expertise in computing and computing within the education system for the UK and these days internationally. We have a great number of international members. It is incorporated by charter from the Queen. It is part of the Engineering Council and able to issue formal charter qualifications. The well-known one, Chartered Engineer, and if you want in many countries to call yourself an engineer, not this country, but Germany, Italy and like, you will need to hold a Chartered Engineer qualification. If you're in the IT space, you can hold Chartered Information Technology Professional, CITP, and that's a BCS specific qualification. And if you're on the research end, you can actually be a Chartered Scientist through the BCS as well. What about the Open Source Specialist Group? Well, I've put the UK Open Source Hardware User Group logo on there as well, because we typically hold our meetings together. Um, the UK OSHUG is a separate um, entity, but we meet together. What about the BCS Open Source Specialist Group? We've got over 1,600 members. We are by far the largest body for professional open source engineers in the UK and possibly in the world. That's a very big body of professionals. If we look at those professionals and we do the strength, you find the most common job title is director and the second most job, common job title is senior software engineer. And the reason for that is that we do have a very strong entrepreneurial streak and we are a professional body. We tend to attract the leaders of the profession. So if you want to reach out to the decision makers in open source, we are the route to take. Our outreach consists of our regular monthly meetings. Um, we had one last Thursday on cryptography. It also is starting to include, this is the first of a new series of programs where we work with industry bodies to help them promote their open source aspects. So this is the first of the London Risk Five meetups and there will be more. And we are also going to be starting up some for the LLVM community. And indeed we're reaching out to other communities who would like to use the UK's professional body as the host for their main uh, uh, organizational meetings. We also have all day workshops on specialist subjects. We hold two or three of those a year. Um, they can vary from everything from, we have one workshop on the whole legal aspects of open source and open chain qualification. We've had workshops run by industry on open source neural networks and machine learning. And we have our annual conference, which is really OSHUG's annual conference, but we work closely with them and we support them in it, which is OSHCAMP. Still not too late to sign up. Uh, it's on the 31st of August and the 1st of September in Hebden Bridge. Um, talk, lots of interesting talks on the first day, lots of interesting workshops on the second day. I'm not sure this year, but we quite often have a Risk Five workshop there. And lastly, one of our roles as professional body is as advocacy. So we provide advocacy and support on the whole area 
of open source reaching into government as the professional body. Um, and if you look on YouTube, you can find the series of videos from our Open for Business uh, workshops, which we've held in past years on how to bring open source into your business and how to set up an open source business. Uh, we've got some future meetings, Oshkamp I've already mentioned. Um, next meeting will be then of our regular meeting will be October. Um, that will be our AGM and we will have a return of our popular lightning talks. If you want to talk for 10 minutes on any subject to do with open source, please see me. Um, last year we had open source sous vide cooking and open source electric water jet powered surfboards. So it's quite wide ranging. And then we go back to something a bit more traditional, 21st of November, open source languages. Um, the new offices um, will be near uh, Moorgate. That's a little map you'll find more on the BCS website. So let's get started with the Risk Five meetup. This is part of a cycle with the events run in Cambridge and Bristol uh, by Imperius and Ultrasoc. The London one is going to be a bit different. It will focus on the open source aspects of Risk Five because we are the open source specialist group. And it will follow the California format, which is the format generally used in other countries of three 20 to 30 minute talks. The Cambridge and Bristol ones are very much about involving a lot of people. So you typically get six 10 minute talks. Um, this is the first, so we will be doing a questionnaire afterwards to find out do you like this format? Should it be done this way? Is the timing right? Is the sort of venue right? Um, but what I would emphasize is the whole point of the meetups is to promote risk five in the widest sense, including in its commercial aspects. And for that, um, so this becomes a um, very much a business networking event. At the end, we've got the room for an extra hour. And then there's the coal hole pub just around the corner. Um, which is a popular drinking hole for the Computer Society. And um, hopefully many of you will want to carry on discussions there. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome our first presenter. And I think if I get this right, I have got Joachim who's made all the magic work here. Can I do this? Make Rick presenter. I'd like to welcome Rick O'Connor. Um, who is president and chair, chief executive of the Open Hardware Group, and he's going to tell you all about it. 